right, happy Thursday. So, I just finished up. What's the what is the ending to last weekend's vlog? And so I wanted to. I'm walking by here, and I wanted to show you. Wanted to show you these that are doing pretty well. So a couple weekends ago, I tore up all those strawberry plants from that bed we're trying to redo, and I stuffed them in this green stalk, and this one here. And as you can see, there's quite a few takers. They are looking, for the most part, pretty good. I am, I'm, I'm pleased. I think, I think this uh, green stalk's gonna do really well. Both of them, I think, are gonna do really well. I might move them up onto the deck up here, only because the strawberries will probably get passed by these will get passed by more often so the strawberries will get eaten or picked more regularly than if they're down here oh, i have so much to do look at all of the green with the on the steps from the uh the uh what is that pollen it's gross <laughs> but i did organize my jugs because i do want to plant some of these up so these are all kales, cabbages, carrots, things that, or I'm going to open and do a quick video, but I'll add it to when I do like the big reveal, when I open all the rest of the jugs. But I want to open these now because they're ready to go and they need to be planted. Otherwise I will not get any cabbage. I will not get any cauliflower. So I think, like I said, I'm going to open these up today or tomorrow and plant them all around the chicken coop. Um, cause last year I had a few on the back end and they did really well. Um, and they didn't go to seed, so we shall see. But I'm headed inside now. I did just end up watering my jugs. It's the first time I watered them this season, which they may have need watered before this, but you know me. <laughs> we are supposed to get some rain this weekend, so... I mean, there is, they, they're doing okay. I'm not gonna be disappointed, I don't think. But I'm headed inside, because I'm up potting pepper plants. And I've also got some Swiss chard here that is gonna get planted as well, just different colored. There's yellow and orange and ruby red, I believe. So I'm gonna plant all these up. And look at that. We're going to have a tomato taste test soon. I know I had said this in another vlog and I still haven't done it, but these three varieties are all different and I think we're going to do a tomato taste test in a couple days. All right, I am trying to do my own sweet potato slips this year again. We'll give it a go. Um, I'm a little late getting started with it, but honestly, years past when I've started earlier, um, it's like they need to get, maybe I'm not late so I'm doing it later but maybe I'm not late doing it but I just got some organic sweet potatoes from the store and I'm going to push them down into the dirt here make sure the soil stays very moist and uh, we're going to put them underneath the grow lights in the basement and we'll see how this does past two years I've done it it's been pretty successful so the up potting of all the peppers has begun I just wanted to show you some of these wild ones. So, I'm not sure what's happening here, if this is a thing or not, but I've got two Matapinos that are variegated, and then one that is not. So, I'm not sure if it's not a Matapino or if there's like a variation. There could be. I think it said it was like an F7. But then this one here, oh my gosh, I just gotta show you this one. This is, this is a pepper and this is blue Christmas. Is that not the coolest looking thing? I cannot wait. So I've got th three of those, I think. Or wait, what is this one? Is this one blue Christmas? No, this one is blue Christmas with BRW and Mutant. So that's a different one. But I'm just like in awe. Like this one is 
cayenne purple. Oh, look at that variegation. Look how dark this one is. This one is Borg 9 purple red. And then here is, oh my God, I can't get over these. They're so pretty. Purple flash. Oh, look at that. So stinking pretty. Got some really dark ones. Here's one that's dark and green. I am so pumped for my peppers this year. What's this one here? This one is, let's see, I only have one of these. Dream catcher. All right, so I'm outside, got my rake, and then I am cleaning up the chicken run. It's been on my to-do list for a couple weeks. Um, they had really kicked a lot of stuff over into their sand. Um, this is their sand bath where they're supposed to take baths. They don't normally, but they just take them everywhere. You can see they've dug down little holes everywhere, but I forgot to do it before, but I've just kind of raked up all of the shedded feathers and all the sticks and stuff because I bring them in lots of uh, weeds and things like that so they can peck out all the bugs from the dirt and stuff. But that's the pile I got left. I think I took out six or seven wheelbarrow full already. So I'm going to get this cleaned up and then I'm going to do, um, I did a video last year. So today's the day I'm going to do it now. I think I did it around this time last year. It might have been in April, but I cleaned it up, put down fresh wood chips, and then every two weeks I just put more wood chips down, just a layer of wood chips to cover up their, their fertilizer. Um, don't don't dig in that pile. I'm cleaning that up. Go find some plates else to dig. I'll be glad to have that done, and I, I did it a lot quicker than I thought I would, so that's awesome. So it's windy. The sun is out, but I'm still kind of cold, so I've got a hat on and hoodie and jacket. I hate the wind. I don't like it. Um, I did get the coop all cleaned out. So last year, when I cleaned the run and the coop out, I made the mistake of topping some of my garden beds, particularly the one where I plant sweet potato vines or sweet potato sweet potato slips in and um, my sweet potatoes didn't do anything because they got overrun with all the seeds because I give my chickens pumpkins I give them squash I give them tons of tomatoes and it was literally that bed was just covered in tomatoes no sooner did I pull tomatoes out new ones would sprout so this year I'm not making that mistake what I'm doing with it is put the bedding down the side of this hill here. So I'm actually hoping that whatever is in this bedding <laughs> will grow something on this hill. That'd be cool if there were, you know, just random tomato plants all over the place. Um, squash, pumpkins, whatever. So I learned my lesson last year. <laughs> I'm actually just going to top because down over here, uh, so there's my hay bales, you see them. So right back there is the sweet potato bed. And uh, I'm just gonna cover it in a nice layer of mushroom soil that will not grow thousands and thousands of tomato plants. Kale's coming back with force. It's, uh, I guess we had a real quick, a real odd uh, change in temperature. So these kales, um, what is this? this? I think it's like blue something, blue, blue something kale. It went to seed. I'm going to let it because I'm going to save all the seeds from it. But the Frelise kale down there didn't go to seed. So that's good. And then I have a, I believe that's a red Russian that uh, didn't go to seed. That was a volunteer kale. I had like five or six volunteer, volunteer kales right in the middle of my pepper bed. Which was, you know, okay. <laughs> but um, I'd kind of like to not have kale in my pepper beds. So I may try 
I don't know if I can. Once these go to seed and I save the seeds, harvest seeds from them, I'm, I'm gonna get rid of these. And I may try to move those. Or I have more that I can plant. I don't know why I'm just trying to save them so badly. But I am now filling this bed with dirt. To do that, I have to do it bucket by bucket. <laughs> this is one, one of the things that I do not care for about my garden being on the, I, although it's very unique and cool that I have such a unique garden, it's a real pain in the butt to do anything as far as like amending the beds or just, you know, creating a place where I can plant stuff because obviously I cannot plant in that. <laughs> so, bucket, wheelbarrow, I think I get like four, four buckets. So out of each wheelbarrow that I fill the bucket up, walk it down, I'll dump it in there. At least it's not far down the hill. I don't have to walk up that many steps to get back to the wheelbarrow. So here we go. Okay, y'all, I got a good chunk of it done. Um, I still probably need a wheelbarrow, wheelbarrow full here. And then like a wheelbarrow full and a half over here. So I did five, two, five or six. I can't remember now how many are all down here. Um, but like I said, I was bringing the buckets, dumped the buckets, kind of leveled everything off. So this is just the garden soil. I still need to come back and do just this. I'm just going to do a thin layer um, of the mushroom soil, mushroom compost, whatever you want to call it. Um, the top here. It's supposed to rain I think Saturday so I really want to get this bed done before then so that the rain can really start to like compact, not compact it, but you know get the mushroom soil to be going down into the, the nutrients and everything down into the garden soil. So I'm going to finish this tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow guys. But I got further than I thought I would that's for sure. Alright I'm just working on cleaning up this bed so it is it's hard to tell unless i like circle it like it's a raised bed right there um but it's covered in this weed i did already do like this swath right here so i just need to keep, get this little corner finished and then i'm going to cover this raised this raised bed um and uh mushroom soil as well but i did picture all three of my, uh, this is a weed, but my, um, this was, oh, yeah, Forgotten Heirlooms, um, rhubarb, and then this one over here, well, these two, I planted two of them, I don't remember which one, what those are, is the tag still there somewhere? The white tags break apart very easily. This is, I don't remember. <laughs> it's super, super windy again today, so I'm sorry, but um, I have a new rhubarb that I'm growing this year too, so I'm going to be planting that because it did germinate inside the um, winter sowing jugs. Okay, everybody, I am once again <laughs> sitting at this table. I just finished up potting the last tray of peppers and and I'll tell you I don't feel so hot today I'm not sure I think it possibly could be that I went out for Chinese last night and I usually don't go to buffets because it just encourages overeating. But my daughter and her boyfriend, Tyler, invited me to go. So I did. Um, and I overate. And I think that it's partly, you know, I might, I'm trying to drink a lot of water today. But I think I'm dehydrated. I just kind of woke up with a headache. I just don't feel so great. I don't think I'm getting sick. So I'm going to push through it. But... It's morning and I'm, I wanted to get outside early and start 
working more on topping my beds with mushroom compost, but I'm just trying to take it easy. And what better way to take it easy than to start more seeds? So that's what I'm doing. And I wanted to tell you about some of these seeds. These are seeds that I just received in the last few weeks from trades and as gifts. And I'm incredibly grateful that I'm able to start more stuff. I don't need to, but I was up potting my peppers and I just have this feeling like, because I planted lots of seeds, but of course not all of the seeds are gonna germinate. That's just how it goes. But I would rather have too much and give stuff away than to end up not having enough. And since people have, you know, I've traded or people have gifted me these new pepper seeds and some really cool tomato seeds, I want to, I want to try to grow them. Um, so I'm going to start some more stuff next week. I start, I think I'm going to start. I have a bunch of basils and things like that basils flowers that I winter sown in my jugs but again I've gotten more stuff <laughs> why not try to grow it um so I'm gonna start basils next week and I think my squash I gotta get my beans like decide which beans I'm going to plant on my trellises down at the bottom of the garden there's just so much to do but let me tell you about these new seeds that I got that are so cool. Oh, I am also um, up potting up. These are uh, what I, um, these are the Jamaican, yellow Jamaican mushroom. I have to separate. A couple of them I put two seeds because I was like getting frustrated because some of my peppers are just being finicky and don't want to germinate. And then, of course, all the ones that I planted two in, every single one of the Jamaican mushrooms <laughs> germinated. So I'm putting these in pots. But I had someone send me um, a letter. I'm going to ask him if I can read it to y'all when I do the seed haul, but I'm going to tell you about him right now. He is from Germany, and he sent me... Um, he contacted me through Instagram. Lauren might have already uh, talked about it. I don't know. I haven't been able to watch her vlogs. But he actually contacted her thinking it was me. I mean, we are pretty similar. <laughs> um, we both have YouTube channels. We both have Instagrams. Lots of tomato stuff. But um, he contacted her and she kind of got the feeling that he was trying to contact me, which he was. But um, So she forwarded the email to me. And uh, he ended up sending both of us his family heirloom seed. They're called Carl's Emslod Trobe. Ah, gosh, I know I'm probably butchering that and I hate it. But So his grandfather has been growing these tomatoes since the 1950s. His grandfather is 103. That's right, 103. Uh, yeah, tomatoes are the fountain of youth. So eat more tomatoes. Grow more tomatoes, eat more tomatoes. <laughs> um, I'm putting seeds. I got these yesterday, so I'm putting some seeds in the soil today. I'm definitely growing this one. It's super cool. Um, the letter, he goes into detail about the background of his grandfather and how he ended up now trying to um, keep the heirloom going. And he also sent me another one. Um, what is that one? It's Rosa de Liao. I have to look it up because I'm not sure of the spelling. Also, some more peppers from Tomato Eden, and then a friend sent me Big Ben. Oh my gosh, there's a tomato called Big Ben. Seriously? So, this is this is getting grown. Faux show. So, <clears throat> that and also had someone send me a beautiful package of all of her, um, so she gifted me all of this stuff which I'm amazed, incredibly grateful, but lots of peppers that I've never heard of I want to grow. She also sent me these tomatillo. They're like giant tomatillos. I've never been successful growing tomatillos, so try, try again. And then she sent me this tamarillo, which is a miniature tomatillo. And I believe she wrote me this really gorgeous handwritten letter. And I think she said she grew these in a pot 
on her deck or patio and it did really, really well. So I'm gonna try to do those, but lots of new stuff to get seeds started. So this is what I'm doing just to try to um, spend a little time doing something while I don't feel so great. And then I will get back outside. All right, everyone, it's finally time. All of these micros, this pile, that pile, <laughs> and then I've got some right here. All these are going to get taken out to the greenhouse. I am running out of room, as you can see. Things are doing really, really well. These are the tomato plants I started last week so things are starting to pop up I've up potted my peppers started more peppers but I just need I need to make room this stuff's got to get out of here so and I think I got the greenhouse figured out so we're hauling these out okay so I've got them all in here it's a hot mess uh, these are supposed to be micro dwarfs, but when micro dwarfs do not get enough light, they will reach for it, thereby becoming taller than what they're originally supposed to be. So I have got, like this one is like a, uh, I would call it a mini dwarf garden pearl. So, ooh, we got a couple of ripe ones on there. Um... What I was thinking what I might do is with these ones, but see, some of them have flowers. I was thinking that I would just chop them down, hoping that they would grow from their armpits and thereby be shorter plants. Uh, I just... Maybe we could just try it on a couple. What do you say? Because this is just... Like this one here. This is just ridiculous. Look how big this thing is. It's like an indeterminate, but it's not. It is just a micro. So... And it's like not putting on any flowers. It's just getting bigger, bigger, bigger. So I think I'm just gonna... Let's see, do I have clippers? Oh, I'll have scissors. These will do. Um, let's see, where's this one? So we'll try this out on a couple. We're going to try it out on... That is... U-T-Y-O-N... Okay. I believe that's what it is. So I'm going to just... Cl Ooh, clip that right there. Oh, that one wasn't even the one I was supposed to be clipping. Dang it! Okay, try again. Oh, it's got two. All right, yeah, I'm doing it. Because this is just insane. Like, what am I? It's just a mess. Um, This one's got some fruit on it. We'll leave it be for now. Um, Let's just trim that a little bit. Uh, trim that there. Okay. Some of them need to be cleaned up. What's this one? I'm going to clip it. Where's the fruit? It's like curled up and around. It's like a roller coaster ride. Um, what is this one? Regina Red. See, there's shoots coming off at the bottom there, so I think it would be okay. Ah. Uh, I know it pains me to do this too, guys, but you see, look. It's not, not terrible. It looks a lot better. And now maybe these armpits will... Um, deco tomat. Let's... I'm only going to do it with a couple, and then I'll keep you guys updated as to see what how it turns out there was a couple over here that were just a mess yeah this one let's just do this one this one is what is this one 
Uh, I don't know, but it's gotta get out of here. It's just a mess, a mess. And we'll do that one there too. Yeah, I think this will be way, way better. I mean, I just can't have them doing what they're doing right now. It's just ridiculous. And I might just have to restart a bunch of them. I might just have to, you know? I'm sorry, but I just can't deal with this. Again, came out with no basket. Watered the chickens. Got some kale for Ellie Bear. And I want to show you <laughs> what I'm using to carry the eggs in. Ooh, look at that hair. Um, I got my shirt. So, Ben bought some of the stuff that's in... I just can't, you guys. My hair. Give me a second. I'll be back. So, Ben ordered some of our shirts that are in my shop. They're actually really good quality. I was surprised. I really like... The one I'm wearing is super soft. Um, then I also got this one in tie-dye. So, this says Gen Joy Tomatoes. And ben got this one in tie-dye. I don't know the lighting isn't so great. They're a little wrinkled because I had them balled up here. And then this is the one I am wearing right now. Eat your fruits and vegetables. I kind of think, I don't know if we can add to it, but I'd like to have it say somewhere like Gen Joy, uh, because it doesn't have anywhere that it's like associated with my channel, but it's still a cool shirt. He designed it because it's, you know, eat your fruits and vegetables because like it's all just tomatoes because they can be considered fruits and vegetables, get it? So, <laughs> my house is just an absolute catastrophe. Oh well. And then the stickers. So, that's a cool sticker. They're pretty large. And then Gen Joy Tomatoes, the sticker is just, I don't know if you can see. It's not square, it's kind of like cut around the Gen Joy Tomatoes. This is the magnet, the magnets, Okay, see, it's just a magnet. It's, you know, for the price, it's decent. And then that sticker, eat your fruits and vegetables, which I like, I like it a lot. So if you wanna help support me, you can go and buy some neat shirts or some stickers from my shop. I have a list of about seven videos that I wanna record. And I have just been trying to get outside, up pot peppers, do this, do that. I haven't cleaned my house in a couple days or picked up. It's, I'm not going to show you that, but I need to get a video up. So I think I'm just going to sit down for about an hour before I head back outside. What was I saying? I'm going to sit down. I'm going to edit this video and I'm going to put it up. Once I'm done that, I am headed back outside to continue with work outside that needs to be done. But until the next one, guys, I hope I get some of the cool videos I have that I want recorded. I hope I get those recorded tomorrow. That way I have some interesting ones for you next weekend. I want to do a Angora or like a, a furry, all of the Angora or the, the fuzzy type tomatoes. I want to give you a list of all of those. I want to put up a video of all of the variegated tomatoes varieties that there are. All of the Brad Gates. I have like, I have so many. I have hauls that I need to do. <sighs> I have a mushroom video that I want to do. There's just so much. But until the next one, guys, I hope you all enjoy your day.
Oh, I'm gonna tell you. Does anybody have any idea how to keep a bird from attacking a window? I've put stuff up. She keeps every morning till probably about one. I don't know if she's still doing it, but for hours, hours, she sees her reflection and attacks the window. I don't know what to do to stop her other than like put up a blanket, but I don't, I'm not doing that. Any idea what to do? Let me know in the comments. Again, enjoy your day. Bye.